Right, over the next few weeks I hope to be making a new milling attachment and fixture uh, unit to actually bolt onto my MyFed ML7 and today I'd like to show you this excellent motor set which I bought on eBay um, which I'm going to use to power it. And it's a high torque treadmill motor set and it comes with all the parts to actually get it going. It's variable speed and it's being sold on eBay for an unbelievable low cost price. So on eBay it's listed as new or other and what it is is the company that actually buys the exercise equipment that this goes on gets a load of spares and replacement parts sent to them. The actual um, exercise equipment never breaks down because they say this set is so tremendously reliable that they're left with loads of um, spare parts which they can actually sell off. So on their listings, you can actually buy this set complete or you can actually just buy the motor on its own. And on their instruction paper that comes with this set, it says to date they have been fitted to mini lathes, milling machines, a paint stirrer, several different fans and a chicken feed auger device. And if you search the internet, you'll see in the USA that they, they use these um, treadmill motors often to actually uh, replace the Chinese mini lathe motor, um, which can be quite unreliable. Um, this is a great alternative for actually powering the Chinese mini lathe. So like I said, it's 220 volts. The motor is 200 watts. The shaft is 10 millimeter. It comes with an aluminium pulley on there, which I shall be taking off. It's got one grub screw, take that off, and I'll be replacing it with a pulley that I'm gonna make, or a bought pulley, and I'm gonna have a belt system to actually drive my um, milling attachment on the MyFed ML7. So in the kit, you get the motor, the power box, and the connections. Um, the digital display and operating panel, you get a remote control um, unit. It comes with a power cable, an ordinary power cable with this type of plug on, um, which you cut off obviously, and I've temporarily wired it up to their switch like they um, did on the um, eBay um, advert. Um, if you do that, um, make sure you tape round it so you don't get an electric shock or whatever. I've only done this as a temporary um, thing just to show you it working and that. So it's all very straightforward and easy to connect up. Um, as you can see, this uh, cable here with a plug on it is not used. And there's several different um, things on the actual control panel that are not used, obviously uh, for the actual treadmill or whatever exercise machine it goes on. And one can easily make up a bracket to actually hold the motor. It has three equally spaced threaded holes on the front here, which are five millimeter threads. So I can actually use nice um, stainless steel Allen bolts to actually hold that to a bracket. On the back, it has two smaller uh, equally spaced holes um, either side. And this is four millimeter thread. Um, so they could also be used, but I'll probably just um, make up a bracket to hold on the front and probably a cradle system on the uh, back. And this is what I like about a set like this. Um, I actually um, make the things up as I go along. I don't plan anything out. I just make things to fit until it's all working and ready to use. So it's all wired up and ready to go. I've blackened up the um, pulley and put a piece of um, yellow tape on there to show some speed readings. And obviously, like I say, put some tape around this switch if you're gonna test it out like this. Switch it on here. And you get a really nice um, display. I'll just take that protective coating off there so you can see that better. I can put the one back on until I'm ready to actually use the unit. Um, there's two springs, one either side, and these are touch switches. You don't have to actually press the uh, springs, you just touch them. This is the start or the on and off um, switch, and this is the speed um, control um, plus the um, mode 
operation um, switch. So to start it up I just touch this one here and I can um, increase the speed um, by just touching or keep touching the spring on this side and you can hear the speed going up on the motor so that's a nice um, thing to have and then when I press this one or touch this one again it switches it off now if I want to go into a mode it's got uh, programmed 1 to 5 and they're different speed settings so if I put it into program 1 and then start it go to a set speed and you can't alter that switch that off again go to program 2 I notice on P4 that there's um, it's roughly the same as P1. Obviously, for this, uh, this is for the exercise equipment, but you have um, very good speed ranges um, on those different programs. And then when you switch off uh, from the programming mode, just touch on there. Um, it goes back into the ordinary uh, setting that you can just start the motor and increase the speed manually like that. And you can get a very fine adjustment on that speed, which is really excellent. So now I'll do a quick speed test just to see what the lowest speed is. I've put some um, masking tape around the uh, pulley here and left a gap um, so the shiny aluminium shows through. And then I've blackened it up with um, marking pen all the way around and that's so I can get an accurate reading with this um, infrared type of RPM or tachometer. Um, Normally with these ones you get like a piece of silver strip but you can actually just get away with um, doing this like I say blacking it up and just leaving a small gap and it will give the same effect for getting an accurate reading. So that one says 1,773. And this is another really excellent digital tachometer. It's called a Smart Sensor AR925. You can get these on Banggood. This is a contact um, tachometer and it comes with um, several different ends. You can put the ends on the end of a spindle, or the point in the end of a spindle. This one doesn't have a indent, so I just have to get that central. Or you have a cup to go on the end of a spindle, and a wheel there. And just turn this one on. One, seven, seven, four. RPM. So they're both really spot on and excellent um, digital tachometers.
And to finish off, what's excellent about this kit is this actual um, remote control um, device. Two AAA batteries you have to put in it, buy your own. A really nice quality um, handheld unit. And this gives you much better control over the motor altogether. On off. And then you can go high, low, middle, off, program one, program five. And the buttons in the centre here, um, you don't use the one on the left and the right, the um, other two, top and bottom, are for the speed control in the normal mode. So you've got speed increase at the top, and speed decrease on the lower side. And again, that's really fine adjustment, which is really ideal for um, machine tool work. So the kit is absolutely exceptional quality, is about the best motor set you can actually get on eBay at the moment I reckon for this type of project. And I've just seen on eBay that they have limited uh, quantity of these motor sets remaining, so I reckon that they're going to sell out really quickly.